Hi, Cotton Workshop. My name is Cindy, and I've had a great time learning with you guys uh, for the past 12 weeks. Um, I am not a Michigan student. I live in California, but I have been so, and I've been so impressed with everything that you've written to us, and we've really enjoyed hearing what you have to say. So thank you. I am Ryan, and um, it has been a truly enlightening semester being a part of PCAP and getting to um, make these theater workshops for you guys every single week. Um, for the people who might be watching this who did not participate, we, um, the five of us, were working every week to send a theater workshop packet to the men at um, Cotton Correctional Facility. So um, it was an amazing experience and um, it really was a highlight of my semester getting to see the responses come in every single week. They were so meaningful, so beautiful. And um, I only wish that we got to do this in person. My name is Maya and I'm a senior at Michigan. And this was such an incredible experience working with PCAP and the Cotton Workshop group. Um, this time has been really, really difficult for all of us, and we all came together to make something really, really awesome and special, and we're all really proud of it. My name is Rixie. I'm a sophomore at Michigan, um, and to, re to reiterate all of the above, I'm extraordinarily inspired by all of the work we've done this semester and inspired by the artistic exploration that we've been able to witness from every member of the workshop. My name is Val. I, I am a member of PCAP. And uh, before we start, I just wanted to let you know that we are very happy to be working with the men at the Cotton Correctional Facility. Uh, you sent some great work and we're very happy to be able to put something together from that work. We're very proud of that. And we hope that you will feel the same. Our first scene is a, is a, a scene uh, for superheroes in a therapy session. Each one of our superheroes possess a superpower, and each one also has a very super problem. Hello, my dears, and welcome to our meeting of Superheroes Anonymous a therapy session, sorry, a therapy session for those of you with superpowers. It's, a, it's an open space, it's a free space. Please tell us what you feel. Thank you. Hi. You wanna start? Hellraiser? Hi, my name is Hellraiser. Hi, Hellraiser. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, basically, I'm here because, well, I'm a superhero, like all of you. My power is complicated. I can make people do things. In fact, I make people do really wild, ruthless, chaotic things. And lately, you know, it's been stressing my family out a lot. Superpowers run through our family, so our reunions have been getting really messy. Until I can get my power under control, I can't make eye contact with anyone in my family, and that makes me really sad. Uh, and how does that make you feel? Um, it makes me feel really sad. He literally just said that. Heart changer, you can speak on your turn. As Hellraiser's brother, I feel like my input here is helpful. These family reunions have gotten like really, really rough. I don't like creating chaos, bro. I'm doing everything I can to gain control. Just get over it. I feel so much better. Okay, heart changer. What is the rule about using powers in our sessions, heart changer? You used your powers on me? <sighs> Maybe it'd be wise if we just went on to somebody else. Wonder nurse. Hello, dear. Let's move on to you. Hi, my name is Wonder Nurse. Hi, Wonder Hello. Nurse. I'm a nurse. I'm like really freaking great at my job. 
Anything else? Nope. Wonderers, this is a safe space. Well, I wasn't ready to be a superhero. When COVID hit, the hospital filled up and I was called to duty. I was sprinting around the hospital, saving lives, distributing masks, checking in with the patients, and all of a sudden it hit me. I was helping multiple patients at the same time, checking a temperature on floor one, setting up a ventilator on floor three. In that moment, I realized that I'm a superhero. I can exist in more than one place at once. It's still new, so I'm still perfecting it, but I had the power to save everyone in the hospital all at once. Like the dopest superpower ever. But I couldn't do it. Do what, Wonder Nurse? Save everyone. It's impossible. And nobody's wearing their masks. It's just getting worse and worse. I hear you, Wonder Nurse. Superheroes might suck, but we always wear our masks. That's true. That's true. Thank you so much for sharing, Wonder Nurse. We are so grateful for you. Welcome back, friends. Here we have another session of As the Superpowers Turn. We're exploring today with some different superheroes. Please take a listen. Hi, my name is Kenny. Hello, Kenny. Hi, Kenny. Uh, you can call me KK. Kinesis is my middle name, like literally. Um, <laughs> So like, I can like read people's minds. <laughs> you know what they say? It's a blessing and a curse, um, but like mostly a blessing because I have been taking names lately. Honestly, it's like really important to me and everybody thinks they're treading lightly, but I know, I know everything. But yeah, I'm struggling to like, I guess, um, understand why it's so problematic to use my powers every day. I think they're fun. I think they're cool. And they hold us all accountable, so. Well, perhaps we should consider the comfort level of those around you. How, how do your powers make people feel, KK? scared <laughs> yeah I think my powers make people feel scared mm -hmm. <laughs> right how do my powers make you feel counselor I don't like this at all yes you do <laughs> I do uh, I'm simply holding others accountable right um uh to a healthy extent you think can I go next sure hi uh, my name is the Windmaker. I go by Windy. Hi, Windy. Hi, Windy. I can fly. I really, really love flying. It makes me feel whole. When people say the sky is the limit, they don't even know what they're talking about. I've flown further than the sky. The air feels different. The sun feels warmer. Everything is perfect when I'm in the sky. That's not what you're thinking though. I don't like you. You're right, you don't. Kenny. KK's right. Not everything is perfect. Recently, I've been flying into the sky and getting distracted from what's important. It feels so good up there. It feels like everything is perfect, but nothing is because I'm neglecting my work. I lost my job and now my neck is sunburnt because I've spent too much time too close to the sun. Have you ever thought about using aloe. I didn't come here to complain about my sunburn. Let's let Wendy speak, please. Wendy is his favorite. Kenny, I'm a counselor. I don't have favorites. You are all important to me. Wendy's literally your favorite. It's all over your brain. This is a nightmare. I never should have come. Hi, my name is Justice. Is it even your turn? Hi, Justice. Short for Sir Justice. I'm 
really fast at solving problems, both in life and in math. I'm also really fast. And you also have an alter ego. Stop. <laughs> I also have an alternative ego. Oof. So yeah, my alternative ego is corrupt. Your alternative ego is corrupt? No, worse. My alternative ego's name is corrupt, and corrupt gets literally whatever he wants. He's stronger than me. He's he's brilliantly manipulative. He's intimidating. He's frightening. He's not as good at math. Right. Right. I've been trying to suppress him for years with little to no success. <laughs> Oof. Oof is right, counselor. Thank you for sharing justice. We've got to move on to the last member of our session. I wasn't done. He doesn't care. Uh, hi, guys. <laughs> uh, my name is David. Hi, David. Hi, David. Um, I'm just David. I don't, I don't have a superpower. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm just chilling. <laughs> you have all been so vulnerable today. Really inspiring. KK? He's literally not a superhero. <laughs> yeah, not a superhero. My parents are from Scranton, though. What are you doing here? I'm really not sure. I, I think I joined the wrong meeting. This has been a nightmare. I didn't think it was that bad. We are going to call this a wrap. Mm -mm -mm. Our next scene involves individuals gathered around a campfire in the dead of midnight. Some of these people are very scared. Some of them are not too frightened, but scared nonetheless. Some have came for the enjoyment of the food and drink and some have came hoping to be able to solve some of the problems that they have. The last time I went camping, every few seconds, my brother and I would both jump back, look around, and yell, who's there? No answers would come. It's just our human prison nature to be wary of our surroundings, I guess. <laughs> Who's there? Don't get too close to the campfire. You're going to get burned. Hey. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, here comes a family of raccoons to ravage through the trash. There are too many visitors at this campfire. Where are the hot dogs? Where are the beans? Where are the marshmallows? Oh. I'm too tired to stay awake. Who's there? I'd like to bring some snacks and, and my technology to this campfire <laughs> to liven it up. Uh, hold on. Hold that here. Name all the stars. I'll give you a sip. <laughs> I mean it. Who the heck is out there? Show yourself. Our next scene involves experiencing the perfect day. And for a moment, just imagine being able to go anywhere you want to go. Do anything you want to do. See anything you want to see. Imagine that, and then imagine the person you want to take on this journey with you. And here in this scene is our perfect day. First, I'm going to the nearest beach. Fresh air, fresh breeze, cool day with the sun going down splashing water as waves after waves wash ashore. It's a beautiful summer day. But a possessor of natural beauty with a vantage point of ocean views from every direction. My perfect day would be with my two dogs, Poe and Maya, being together again. Sean took his girlfriend to the Grand Canyon and all he can smell there is sand and dirt. I would have my mom 
although may she rest in peace, she was my closest and best friend. My sister is whom I look forward to contact. Here lies a tropical paradise equipped with crystal clear water and soft white sand. The day was sunny. The morning air was warm as I walked into the office. Lately, it's been raining a lot. I've been waiting for that perfect day so I could take my woman to the jazz festival, which had been going on for a few days now. I see a lot of women and kids playing. A lot of smells, water, and lots of screaming. Now all I need is my beautiful queen to stay with me. But she keeps insisting that they need her back in the state for an emergency problem that occurred. Today is the day. The weather is beautiful, but my lady has to work. He hears lots of chattering and yelling. Then his girlfriend tells him she's got to go to work, so she's got to leave. Hey, Monica, I know you're busy, but I won two tickets to see Sade perform live and an all expense paid dinner for two at Joe Meyers inside the Renaissance building in downtown Detroit. With one look into her eyes, I realized that my whole life has been leading up to this very moment. With one touch from her hand, my soul begins to beat. She never been to a jazz festival, which is very shocking. <laughs> seeing as she has a good taste in music. I basically spent a lot of time with her. Laying in the soft grass, the sun laying a warm blanket on us, blue skies. Finding out the latest about the cover art she is searching for me and how I like to hear her kiddos talk about their birthday presents. Who am I that is given all these treasures? It had been a year since I was released, and I was now ready to claim my position in the Adolescent Redemption Project as the marketing manager. As I arrived downtown Detroit at the state fairgrounds, all you can hear is different music and people talking, laughing, and dancing. So much joy overflows one's mind, and all I can think of is not having my lady to enjoy such a special moment. I'm telling you this because the only thing that could make this day any more perfect is if I could spend it with you. Can you get Friday off of work? Understanding her need to do her job, I am just being selfish to ask her to wait and go later. So Sean asks her to call in and asks a co-worker to cover her shift. I remove my cell phone from my pocket and call Kate and Kate answers, hello, love. I respond by saying, I really would have loved for you to be here with me seeing how special a day it is and the connection that I have with jazz. Kate knows it's my first time ever coming to a jazz festival. I'm but man and she is woman, is the wind beneath my feet. Her flower scented aroma solidifies the meaning of life. The smell of fresh cut grass, the sound of someone mowing their lawn in the distance. Asked my nephew what was in the Russell Stover box from the cell shop. It was delicious. Yeah, but what was in it? It was delicious, was all he said. To be honest, I would travel alone or with my son. He's 13. I would go fishing with them. My mom and dad, rest in peace as that was something that they both liked to do. I explained that life is too short and precious, precious, and when a spouse is in need, we have to be willing to change schedules at a moment's notice in order to be with our spouse. Kate said, "Hun, I have so much work to do. You know, if I could just make it, I would. I say, well, love, work will always be there. These kinds of moments come once in a while in life, and it was one I would have loved to share with you. I'll see you later. My son is always busy, so he's telling me he wants to leave. While I have to wait for Jill to say what they like, I understood Warren's hint. Today, we are not only celebrating my promotion, but the fact that we finally got the Michigan legislature to pass a second look sentencing bill. I had worked for years for this in prison, yet my own release had been secured by winning my appeal. As I hung up the phone, Kate tries to say something, but the line cut off. I placed my phone in my pocket, 
Seconds later, it's vibrating. I look to see who's calling me. It's Kate. She calls her friend and she agrees to cover for her. So she stays with Sean. Unfortunately, she has been stricken by amnesia and distracted from her preordained destiny. Here I stand, witnessing her as she consistently looks at her Rolex as if she had some other prior engagements. I had been allowed to retake my original plea of 10 to 15 years. So since I had been in 25, I walked out of the courtroom. Yet I knew my work was not done there. There had been so many men and women deserving of a second chance. We are sitting on my porch with him, drinking coffee while it rains. As I climbed the steps up to the office, I remembered this hallway from decades ago. This place used to be a head shop called Stairway to Heaven. I turned off my phone, being childish, and walk over to the bakery stand where there's amazing chocolate chip cookies that I've been smelling over all the other amazing food. I buy a bag of 10. Ordering by mail leaves me wondering what is in stock and what backup gift to send. As I enter the small upper floor office, I can see everyone. Cassandra, our president, Anne, my wife, Laurel, Steve, and even Mr. Shepard. We had worked hard in the first six months after my release to get him out. He had served 49 years, and there he was, smiling and so happy. I tell him I need to catch up on time with him, so he stays and we have a blast. And the rest is history. Clutches onto those red bottom shoes as if they will clash with the sand. Hopefully this man-made philosophy will not continue to cloud her mind. <laughs> Yet, I get a kick from the way her kids suggest what I should find. I make my way down to the jazz sessions. The music sounds amazing. I get chills from a remake of an old Miles Davis song. It was his testimony to the Senate, just days after being released six months ago, that won the Republicans over. Now there we all were, watching the big screen TV, waiting for the press conference where the bill would be signed into law. I always thought that true lovers offer equal love. Poe, my taco dog, and Maya, my honey bear, they are my perfect day. I miss them so much. I hope they don't think I abandoned them. This man has only this deserted island, which is not known by any country's flag. If so, there would have been other settlers and he would have been but a servant. Then this life, as he knows it, would be a memory, left with no liberty or love, just a piece of dirt. We had done something no one thought we could do. The music seems to go on for hours as I stand to rock to the music. I feel a tap on my back. And I turned to see Kate smiling. We will never know if this is our last time together or not.